This is chapter 22, lecture two. Today we're gonna to be looking at alcohols, aldehydes, and carboxylic acids. So an alcohol is simply a hydrocarbon that has a hydroxyl group attached in place of a hydrogen atom. So a hydroxyl group is an OH. So somewhere on the molecule, there is an OH that replaces an H. Here we have methane, which is CH4, which is an alkane. But if we replace the H with an OH, we have methanol, sometimes called methyl alcohol. Alcohols are completely miscible in water, which means they are soluble they will dissolve because of hydrogen bonding. The names of the alcohols are based on the alkane name. So here we have butane, but because there is a hydroxyl group, we call it 1-butanol. 2-butanol, because it is on the second carbon. Hexanol, we don't need to know. And although we don't have to know 1,2,3-propane triol, it is kind of interesting to see that there are three carbons, which is propane. There are three hydroxyl groups on three different carbons, so one, two, three, propane, and then this time, to show the three hydroxyl groups, they call it triol. So one carbon with a hydroxyl group is called methanol. Or methyl alcohol. Two carbons with an OH hydroxyl group would be called ethanol. or ethyl alcohol. Flip ahead to page 31. And now our next functional group is called an aldehyde. An aldehyde is a carbonyl group. A carbonyl group is simply a double bonded oxygen attached to a carbon atom. In an aldehyde, the carbonyl group is attached to a carbon on the end. So here is the carbonyl group. If there is only one carbon, it is called methanol. methanol. If there are two carbons, the double bonded O has to be on the end. It is called ethanol. So if we have one carbon with a double bonded O, it is called methanol. If we have four carbons with a double bonded O, which has to be on the end carbon, the prefix for four carbons is but. So it came from butane. This is called butanel. We don't have to call it one butanel because it has to be on the first carbon. 
The last group for today are called the carboxylic acids. In the reference table, they are called the organic acids. Organic compounds contain a double bonded oxygen, which is a carbonyl group attached to a hydroxyl group, which is an OH. So here is our carbonyl group, and here is our hydroxyl group. So a carboxyl group is usually represented as dash COOH. But that COOH is a double bonded O and an OH attached to a carbon. When an acid ionizes in water, the H of the carboxyl group is allowed to uh, be taken away and attaches to a water molecule forming the hydronium ion. So if we have one carbon with a double bonded O, OH, but remember, carbon still has to have four bond sites. We call this methanoic acid. If we have two carbons with a double bonded O, OH, but each carbon still has to have four H's, this would be ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is called vinegar. So we're going to attack a couple of groups a day. Uh, that is it for this lecture and we will see you in class.